Well, if you are in the metropolitan area that is closer to the city of New Orleans, you're not seeing a lot of those high winds right. and things yet. One place that is, however, is down in Terrebonne Parish, where there is now a mandatory evacuation order in place. Um, in areas there, the sheriff has been talking with Erica Ferrando. She's been giving us updates on the conditions there. Erica, is it still raining? And, and how is that levee looking? Yes, it, it is still raining and we definitely have a lot of wind out here right now. We're in Lower Dularge and we're actually on top of the levee. That is the reason that there is a mandatory evacuation in this area because you can see how high the water is on this side of us and uh, it's all just kind of overtopping over here. We have State Senator Norby with us and he's going to tell us a little bit more about um, just kind of what you want people in this area to know. It looks like a lot of people are listening to this mandatory evacuation. Yeah, you know, this is a situation that's unfortunate. We've got a uh, lower lying uh, area of levee in the lowest part of the parish down here, lower to large. Uh, we've just got a, a, a few hundred feet section that's experiencing some overtopping. Uh, it's not breached. Uh, we find ourselves in a bit of a flood fight. Before we can actually attack it on this side, we're going to need the winds to come down. And, and what you're dealing with is an area of levee that kind of does a few 45 degree angles, so the wind is blowing the, uh, the water. Uh, up against the levee and you've seen some overtopping. We had a hairy situation uh, towards Ponishan and Montague early this morning. Luckily, uh, Greg Gocho and our team from the, the levee district fought that fight and uh, won. And uh, it's going to be a situation that we have to continue monitoring today, uh, just like we're having, that we're having to do over here. What are you expecting to happen, I guess, throughout the weekend? Um, we're, I mean, we're already seeing this water over top of the levee. What do you think is going to happen to these homes in this area? Well, again, the, you know, this section of levee is not part of the Morganza the, to the Gulf uh, the Hurricane Protection System. It's an exterior levee that the parish has up. Uh, as you can see, there's a tremendous amount of freeboard area to where we can take on some of that water. Uh, it, it becomes a point of, of time after that, right? The, the, the storm's moving further west. It's going to get inland. These waters are going to eventually recede. Uh, it's just a question of how much water actually gets over the top. The people that were in immediate harm's way, uh, even though a lot of their homes are, are, are 10, 12, 14 feet in the air, uh, and they live here, and we live here, uh, you know, they expect to handle this. They've heated the evacuations, and we're still trying to figure out what's the best uh, plan of action as soon as the wind dies down enough to not put our uh, response people in harm's way. Give us just an idea of what this normally looks like. I mean, we see the water literally at the levee here. Yeah, well, what I does mean, this situation normally look like right over here? You're, you're <laughs> directly to the south of you is the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, right. I mean, you're at, you at the extreme southern end of Terrebonne Parish. Uh, to our west is the Atchafalaya Basin. On this side, you've got the Lake Boudreaux Basin. And the, the major difference, I mean, you could even see in the distance over there, uh, the water tower at Coquitry, uh, LUMCON, the, the Louisiana uh, University Marine Consortium, uh, that's all outside of the Morganza system on that end. So really, the only thing separating us here is, is the high and low tide. Because that's the Gulf of Mexico out there. Uh, this is still some inland uh, wetlands and, and whatnot, but anything south of here is, is pretty much uh, the Gulf. Were y'all well, unfortunately, with your shot, you can't see it, but right right past those trees, there are two uh, marsh buggy excavators that were that were lifting the levee. We know this is a low spot area. Where those le where those marsh buggies are, the water's not over top of the work that our uh, levee district has done. It's just in that small stretch. So we're blessed and lucky that uh, we had gotten the levee to height. You know, if you go further down this same exact levee uh, to the, the extreme southern portion of it, you've got three foot of freeboard on the outside of the system. So, you know, we're able to take on a, a good bit of water before we actually have anybody in, in serious harm's way. But again, it's all about the duration of the storm and how we're going to handle it when the wind dies down. And Greg Gotro and our, our, our conservation district team, levee district team, can get out here and, and manage to, to bridge that little overtopping area. So they're planning to do that during the storm? Uh, oh, as soon as the, the winds and whatnot die down and it's safe for us to do con conduct some work, we're going to try to handle this situation uh, just as quickly as we can. And again, it, it, it's just a little overtopping deal uh, right there. So hopefully uh, we'll get some respite from the wind and the rain and, and we'll be able to attack it. Is there anything, uh, one, I guess, final message you want to get to anyone here in Dularge? Uh, you know, just stay strong, stay tough. We've all been through this. This is, you know, take the first time. It ain't going to be the last. Uh, hopefully we can just get Barry to go a little further to the west 
We don't want to, you know, or a little further inland, we don't want to wish it any ill will on any other areas of the state, but if we could have some respite uh, in this area for a little while, we could do some good. All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate all your time. Um, so, like he just said, they're going to be trying to get out here as soon as they can to try and at least um, get some control over this situation because you can see right over here. I mean, it's way down here on this levee, though, but you can see where that water is literally just like overflowing. It looks like a waterfall. So, they're going to try and get out here when they can and take control of the situation. But um, there is a mandatory evacuation out here, and it looks like most of the people out here are listening to that warning. And we've seen a lot of people just driving out of this area. But for now, live and do large, I'm Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Great perspective.